All right, welcome back, guys. We're gonna insulate this thing, um, get it fired up. We're gonna, I was gonna run it on a 12 volt inverter. Um, all right, well, I'm not too sure why I didn't think of this earlier, but uh, so you see the cord coming out of the garage, shop, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, runs along the ground, plugged into another extension cord because I've got the diesel parked quite a ways away. Plugged into the other extension cord that comes out of the inverter that runs from the, this is my home built motor home by the way. Maybe we'll do a video on this bad boy. Pretty slick, I wanted a diesel but couldn't afford one, you know? So I made my own. Anyways, now we'll turn the inverter on. You can see it's just a cheap little Sentec junker turn it on see if it trips it staying green let's go see if the pump's still running or well if it started running i guess because i had it unplugged show sure enough running that bad boy no problem i'm gonna go inside and plug the fan in now And we'll see if that stays running. All right, we're back inside. We'll see a uh, moment of truth here. I'm going to try and do this one-handed, so see how that goes. If it will have enough to surge and get the fan running, or if it's just going to shut off. So here we go. There's the fan. Yep. So it'll definitely run off a 750-watt inverter and a 12-volt battery. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, but I wanted to make sure that uh, if it needed to run off grid, it could. So that's all. The problem is I don't want to take it out of my motorhome. Uh, it's it's in it's mounted in there pretty securely, and I just don't want to undo it. But I do have a watt meter hooked up, and so I believe this could be ran off a very small inverter with no issues at all. I'm gonna guess under 300 watts total um but we'll see so yeah let's get going on it i'll i'm gonna start insulating and uh we'll get it all insulated and see how it goes from there i am gonna have to refill it because i had to empty it to move it so all right well i had some uh this stuff laying around some painters tape some shrink wrap for packing um Again, this is going to be a rough insulation, <laughs> just something to help improve it. You know, this is, again, you know, shit hits the fan. We got to get things done. We're going to use what we have. So, and I have some leftover insulation. <sighs> We're going to use this and a couple blanket. Well, just one blanket I have laying around too. It's one of them Harbor Freight moving blankets. Um, yeah, so let's get it on there. I'll let you watch me struggle doing this here. I think it'll work just dandy. And if not, we're not out any money, so. Well, I know it heated up with uh, no insulation, so anything's gotta be better than nothing, you know? So yeah, that's the uh, rough insulation. Uh, I just kinda wanted to show you that burner i added another uh another air pipe here too i don't know if it's gonna help or not but uh this is after the last burn let me try and turn my light on here it actually burned pretty darn clean i'm shocked so yeah hopefully that extra air pipe will help and uh we'll see how it goes but yeah, just wanted to show you that. And I ran five gallons of oil through that thing. I fired it up yesterday without cleaning it and ran it. And it got up to 190. Um, and it was frozen when I started. So, and I've got that pump pumping right now. That pump pumped eight gallons a minute. So, should keep that water plenty circulated. We're going to run it through this used uh, 
heat exchanger here. And it's got a different fan on it, but it's not it's not a great fan. It doesn't put out much air. I mean, it moves air, but not not like a furnace would, you know. But should work for what we're doing, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And then with the pump running right now, we're pulling 152, 153 watts. So I think we're going to be right around 300, a little over, with the blower running and everything. So shouldn't be too bad. Like I said, I was going to run it off a cheap Harbor Freight 750 watt inverter. So I think it would have done it no problem with a 12 volt battery. All right. I'm going to uh, get that burner cleaned out, get the oil line hooked up to it, get it back in the stove and fire it up. All right. Well, we got her fired up. Um, that's I'm running a pretty steady stream and it's burning that no problem I could increase it and it actually strangely enough burns cleaner when you do I don't know why but uh anyways there's the water coming in and you can see the lines hooked to the pump goes under the door comes back out goes up and around and that's the return line so i'll take you inside now and show you what we've got set up in there all right there's where the lines come under the door and they go up there to that heat exchanger and uh yeah so uh, this isn't going to be an accurate reading it's slowly rising i just stuck it in there um just to kind of give you an idea so yeah, I'm going to, the heat's off in the shop right now. I have the heat set at 74, which is probably hot for most of you guys, but I like it warm. And I also have puppies, that's what you're gonna hear. They're out in the shop with me now because mama's about done with them. So anyways, so if you hear some dogs yipping, that's what's going on. All right, the heat's shut off in the shop. Like I said, it's set at 74, so. I'm going to plug the blower in here and we'll see uh, what kind of wattage she pulls. I'm guessing around 300, just like I said originally. So we'll see what happens here. I'm going to plug it in now. Now it might have surged. I don't know. Um, might have surged up over 300. I'm not real sure. That blower is kind of loud. And these things rattle, you know, all these fins and everything else. So. But the, uh, it's not even really up to temp. The return water out there was coming back at 150. I tried to get a shot, but it's steaming up everything. It's cold today, so. But it's slowly heating that up. And that's just stuck in the fin. I mean, <laughs> not a very accurate reading. But, uh, I mean, it gives you an idea. I would guess that would be the air temp because I'm standing in front of it and it's pretty dang hot. So, and you can see the setup out there in the driveway right outside the door. And I didn't put a lid on it. Honestly, because I forgot. And then I figured, you know what? Who cares? It heated up before, so we'll rock it. But you can see so I guess that would be the air temp would be about 130 degrees coming off of there. So I'll let that run for a bit and we'll check the thermostat, which is all the way on the other side of the shop above that, above that Cornwell toolbox there. And uh, we'll see if the temp goes up from 74 or if it goes down or what happens or if my other furnace kicks back on. And... All right, well, I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, guys. Well, it's been on for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so. And it's gone from 74 to 78 in here. It's definitely working. I just want to show you what the thermostat's set at. You can see it says 74 set. And, uh, yeah, it's heating this shop like crazy. And this shop isn't, uh, isn't insulated very well at all. It's got OSB on the walls with some cheap two inch foam behind that and then osb on the ceiling you know nothing fancy 
So to heat this building the way it is, is pretty impressive. Um, now, this is reading about 125. And the return water is still reading about 160. So not a very accurate reading on that thermometer. But yeah, all in all, man, I'd say we uh, could definitely heat in an emergency. So yeah, I'm gonna say this works, man. Um, it's kicking out some heat. Puppies aren't crying anymore. They're nice and happy. Um, we're pulling 295 watts now that everything's up and running, I guess. Uh, you know, pulls a little bit more when it first starts out. So thanks a lot for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. The next one's gonna be uh, the diesel we're gonna get back to that and then uh we're gonna build a bigger still so we can make more at once you know so we'll see you in the next one have a great day